Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, we'll be diving into a step-by-step -step tutorial on setting up HTTP Custom with UDP Custom Settings. Whether you're looking to enhance your online privacy or experience a more secure connection, this guide will help you navigate the process smoothly. Let's get started. Step 1. Open Chrome. First, launch your Google Chrome browser and enter your search for a Lion SSH site. This will be your gateway to accessing SSH UDP connections. Step 2. Choose your protocol. Once you arrive on the site, scroll down the page to explore the list of available connection protocols. Look for SSH UDP and click on it to begin the account creation process. Step 3. Select your server location. Next, you'll have the option to choose your desired server location. Click on a Select Server to proceed, and then tap on the server duration to continue. Step 4. Check server availability. Take a moment to review the available servers. Make sure to note which servers are online before proceeding. Once you're ready, click on a Create Account to move forward. Step 5. Create your account. In the provided fields, enter your desired password. Don't forget to complete the CAPTCHA verification to ensure a secure connection. After that, click on the Create Account button. Step 6. Copy your account details. Once your account is successfully created, you'll see an option to copy your account details. Click on Copy to save this information, as it will be essential for setting up the HTTP Custom app. Step 7. Install HTTP Custom. To set up HTTP Custom with the UDP server you just created, head over to the Google Play Store and install the HTTP Custom app. Step 8. Open the app. After installation, open the app. You'll be greeted by the home page. Step 9. Configure UDP settings. From the home page, make sure to tick the box for UDP Custom. This will enable the correct settings for your connection. Step 10. Enter account details. Now, paste the previously copied UDP account details into the respective fields in the app. Ensure everything is entered correctly. Step 11. Connect to the VPN. Finally, press the Connect button to initiate your connection. You are now set to browse securely. Join our community. We invite you to join us on Telegram and WhatsApp for further discussions and support. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or if there's anything you didn't quite understand.